The Twitch Clips compilation generator is a, a system of bots that collects clips automatically, lets you edit videos without all the tedious parts, and puts them together into a compilation video ready to be uploaded straight to any social media platform. Full VPS support is provided, along with an account system, so multiple users can use the bot at once. This bot is split up into three separate programs. The server. The client. The video generator. These programs perform different functions that when combined, creates a very powerful system for auto-generating compilation videos. In this video I will attempt to explain what these bots slash bots do. Please note that this video has been heavily edited, and does not show off all the features of the bot. There's a lot of information and unfortunately it's not easy to show it all in a clear way without the editing jumping back and forth too much. In this video I'm running the entire bot on my PC, so that it's quick to download and upload to the server. The bot has full VPS support too. Here's what it looks like using two separate Ubuntu VPSs for the server and video generator. The server VPS has a large amount of storage for video clips and the video generator VPS has a good CPU and RAM for rendering the videos quickly. The client video editor is running on my computer. I will likely make a follow up video to this. There's more information in the description. If you have any questions please feel free to ask and contact me at royalredditofficial at gmail.com. Compilation videos can be found in nearly all corners of the internet. The most common forms are gaming compilations. There are so many different styles of gaming compilations that can be made. Top clips, wins, fails, WTF moments, glitches, funny moments etc etc. They rack up a lot of views and can quickly grow a channel's follower base, especially when a new video just uploads. However there are several challenges involved in creating compilation videos. This bot, or series of programs, addresses many of these issues. Challenge number one, finding the right clips for your compilation video. Scouring the internet manually for clips is a laborious task and is a large factor for the creation time of compilation videos. What is the solution? Twitch top clips. These are highlighted clips from Twitch liver streams, taken by users when something interesting happens in a liver stream. Therefore the quality of these clips is somewhat guaranteed as only a limited amount of the greatest viewed clips are available on Twitch at any one time. Twitch's API allows for the bot to automatically pull these clips from Twitch. The server program provides the interface for this process. Twitch also allows us to pick the category for the clips. We can add any category into the system like this. From there we can add these categories to the auto downloader list. Once we enable auto mode, which stands for automatically find and download clips, our program will automatically find and download clips given the categories in the auto downloader list. It will not stop till we turn off auto mode. In the bottom part of the screen you can see how many clips have been downloaded and for which games. I keep auto mode running on our VPS server and have over 65k clips downloaded and ready to use. Different categories will have more clips than others. The videos will be stored in a folder known as the clip bin and kept track of through a database. Challenge number 2. Editing the videos. Now we'll jump over to the video editor program. Upon starting it, we are prompted with a login window. We need to register a new user so that we can log in. To do this, we go back to the server, program and enter a new username and password for an account. Here we can see which users are registered in the system. We can also add and delete users at will. We can have as many, or as little users as we want in the system. Two users cannot use the same account at once. Note that we have to restart the server program, after making any changes to the users. Now that we've added in a new user we can finally log into the video editor and start editing a video. Once we select the category we want to use and how many clips we initially want we can now see all the clips available in the video editor. The process of editing a video is easy. We have several options for each individual clip. We can keep the clip if we like it. We can skip the clip if we don't. We can also cut the start and end of the clip, if it's too long, as well as set the volume of the clip. 
On the top right we have an estimated video time that sums the total duration of all the clips we have kept. If we run out of clips, we can simply add more in from here. We can also move around the order of clips using the move up or down button to the left. For each video we also have the option to add an intro, outro, interval and a first clip. The first clip feature can be doubled as a way of manually importing clips into the video. The idea behind this is that the first clip of a compilation video is sometimes used to show off the best clip. We can save the selection of the intro slash outro slash interval, so we don't have to continuously select these if the videos will all be the same. Intro slash outro slash interval slash first clips can all be disabled in the video editor config file in case we do not want them. If we forget to set one of these options we will get a rare message telling us to select a file. We can also set the color of the streamer's name in each clip. By default the streamer's name will be displayed in the top left of every clip. We can select two colors for the outer color and inner color of the text. This feature can be disabled within the video generator config file, where we can also select a font type for the text. Finally we can choose the background music type for the video. Each music type or category is simply a folder of mp3 files located in the video generator directory. You can add in your own folder with music files. To add in a new category, once we are done we can finally get a rendering our video. To do this, we press export and the server will be informed about our new video. From here the video generator will put together the clips from the video editor. Any clips that we use during editing will be deleted from the clip bin to save storage space. These clips will no longer be downloaded by the auto downloader. Our video will be rendered by the video generator program. Note that the server has to be running for the video generator to register our new video. We have a little progress bar on our client to show us the progress of the currently rendered video. Once the video is rendered, it will be sent to the server and from there we can download it from the video editor client. We get two files for each video we render. One is the actual mp4 file and the other is a streamer credits file for all the streamers clips we used in the video. Always remember to credit any streamers you use in your videos. And there you have it. We just created a compilation video with very little effort. We can begin our gaming compilation channel now and start bringing in those views. And with all those clips constantly being pumped out of Twitch, there's quite literally an unlimited amount of videos available to produce. In this respect, this bot is quite powerful, potentially even too powerful to be releasing online. Be respectful, always credit any streamers that appear in your video. If you're interested in obtaining the bot, I provide a setup service for the program. The service includes the complete installation and configuration of the program on your computer. This means that I will do everything, from downloading and configuring the right stuff to installing all the dependencies, to making sure it works on your system, that is generating videos, and ensuring that you understand how to use it. I will also show you how to customize the bot where possible. From there you will have access to my personal Discord account where you can contact me anytime for any issues regarding your setup. This ranges from forgetting how to use the bot, to bug fixes, to customization etc. I will attempt to reply as soon as possible. If you're interested in this service please fill out the form in the description or drop me an email. And as always, the GitHub is in the description. Say hi to tweets guys. Have fun and be sensible.